Now I'm going to show you three more species. This is called Piper longum. This one it belongs to pepper family, but it's a ground hugging uh, herb that grows on forest floors. It's good for a uh, good crop for the shady areas, and it yields very profusely if it's climbed up a little bit. Support is provided. We have stuck some dry sticks and some barbed wire to climb it. It's just started growing now. After the first summer showers have properly fallen. And then bang next to it, there's one line of this piper longum. Next to that we planted the Camphoria galangal. This is a very important herb of Ayurveda. See, beautiful leaves. And weeds are grown also now. We have to, have to weed it. And uh, see, like funnels. The little leaves. And then it's nicely mulched so that there's a fresh it keeps the place cool and they can survive nicely. Top soil is formed and all that. And then it doesn't grow much bigger than this. It's a little uh, garlic sized roots are there underneath. That's a spicy and like ginger type of thing. It's used in many many Ayurvedic preparations. And people never grow this beautiful herb because they just harvest it off from some forest somewhere. Now, uh, this is the third year, third year, so it's spreading, see, it's spread and growing around and I'm keeping all this as a stock so that it's there to spread. This is the Camphoria galanga, when it flowers I'll show you separately and then along with it the Centella Asiatica or Vandelaga, also a substitute of Brahmi in many areas. It has a brain type of shape. Looks like a Pac-Man. And then it has a, it's a herb for the brain and nerves and all that. It's also a culinary herb. It's used in Asian countries as a food item also. Now more of this funnel, see. Very cute things. That is the story of the Sati.